Oh, son of a biscuit. Look at this mess. You hear this? Bird shit. Oh, hello, sir. It's been a long time. Just take me to the site. Yes, sir. It's right this way, sir. There they are, sir. Uh, it was uh, it was a lot of work to get them side by side like this. It's, people uh, people objected. I guess it's understandable, I suppose. What of the boy? He, uh, sir, he's not in the grave. You'd be smart to keep that to yourself. Oh, no, sir, I wouldn't tell anybody. No, sir, nobody. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Voorhees. Thank you, sir. You guys are missing out on some pretty good shit. Hey, you hear me? Yeah, and you know who bought that, right, Ace? Isn't there anything else you could be doing right now? <coughs> yeah, I would if you guys brought me a girl. We did. She's stoned. Whose fault is that? Guess I'll just have to check out some big old fat titties of my own. It's like a like a chain or something. Come on, it's probably just Ace. He's just fucking around. Yeah. Huh? Oh, hey, what the fuck?
<laughs> you found me again. Dang. Ashley Jarvis, hide and seek champion, 12 years running. Tell us, how do you do it? Can I just have my phone back now? Sure, okay, but how about we go pick up some cookie dough ice cream? Who's with me? Fine. All right, come here. What's, um, what's going on, man? What's on your mind? Nothing. Oh, huh, really? Okay, because it doesn't look like nothing. I just wish I could stay at mom's this summer so I could hang out with my friends. I know, but I mean, this is the only time we ever really get to see dad these days, and don't you miss him? Yeah, but why can't he come visit us at mom's? <laughs> you know mom would never go for that, Ash. It's complicated. <clears throat> hey, okay. Why don't we drive over and visit great grandma tomorrow? I mean, she would love to see you, you know? Her house smells like cat piss. You smell like cat piss. Hmm? Hands on experience of pitching a tent. We let you handle the poles, we let you spread the canopy. Frank's killer tourist. We'll teach you how to start a fire. Rub the sticks together to get a spark. Wait, killer tours. Experience the terror that was the Jason Voorhees playground. Killer tours. We knocked those other guys out of the woods. Roar! Legend 57. Killer, killer tours. Killer tour. Now going live with Cameron Weber of KIMA. All right, so I'm standing here with Sheriff Jason Riolotti, who has just agreed to give us a little bit more information about those bear attacks. Dad left now, you Sheriff, a note on the can table. You tell me, did the medical examiner of Wessex County, did they confirm that these are in fact bear attacks that killed those young victims? Yeah, they confirmed it, and that's why I released that information to the public. What do you think I'm running here? An amateur department? But what about the rumors? What about the rumors that there's a homicide Angelica, investigation? Please look after your sister. I don't know when I'll be home. Kid. This ain't grade school. Now it feels cute. He's back. But we actually know that there is a homicide investigation pending. Did Dad say when he's coming home? A suspect. Later. Listen, I don't know where you're later when? Just later, okay? A lot of attention to themselves. Fine, so whatever. But what about Jason? You know, Jason Voorhees? Do people need to be worried? Now you listen to me, you little fuck. I'm the real Jason. I'm the real Jason you gotta worry about in this town. And you just crossed over the fucking line. Now you know what? Pack up your fucking shit and get off my side. Is there anything else you wanna what ask? I'm saying to you that you don't understand. Pack up your shit and get off my fucking sidewalk. We apologize for the colorful language, but that is one of the perils of live television. Now, what you're looking at here is what we recorded earlier at Crystal Lake. The young woman being worked on by the paramedics has been identified as Mila Wiggins, the sole survivor of the vicious attack. The names of the other three victims should be released sometime this afternoon, once all of their families have been notified. Police and investigators are still on scene, so they're advising everyone to stay out of the area until further notice. Hello? Hey, Gigi. It's Angelica. Oh, Angelica. I was wondering when I was going to hear from you. Are you and Ashley at your dad's? Yeah, a couple of days now. Oh, you have to come visit. That'd be great. Um, I was just wondering if you talked to dad today. No. Why? No, well, he uh, just wasn't home when Ash and me got back a while ago. I was just trying to track him down, that's all. I, I hear from him. I'll have him call you. Great. Thank you. And, um, We'll come by soon, I promise. I should I should probably go get dinner started. Okay, dear. Tell Ashley hi for me. I will. Bye, Gigi. Thank you.
bear attack victim for air. <laughs> Real Lottie, what are you up to now? Sneaky son of a bitch. Decades of peace at the old condemned camps, leaving some locals concerned about the area's history. Officials are reminding the public that the lake still remains closed for the time being, and they advise the people don't trespass on the old camp. Hello? Who is this, and how did you get this number? Robert, where are you? Who is this? It's Angelica. Angelica, hey! What's up? How are you? How are things? Where are you? I am at and the coffee shop, uh, the doing West some research on my book. What's up? My dad's missing. What? My dad's missing. Okay. Hey, stay there. I'm gonna be right there, okay? Excuse me, sir. Hey, Brooklyn, what's up? How do you want to handle all the media attention that these, uh, Camp Crystal Lake murders have been getting? Nothing's gonna change. Believe me, those K-I-M-A cocksuckers are gonna try to stir up shit no matter what we do. What about the bear attack story? We stick with it. What are we gonna do? I mean, it's my official story. If I change it now, the press will be up my ass more than anywhere before. I can't change it. What if more bodies start showing up? That's a big if. If, you know, I mean, we'll deal with it when the time comes. And then, you know what? Then the media can move on to some other bullshit story that they got in their pockets. Got it. Thank you, sir. Damn. I had a piss like a racehorse. Hey, baby. You want to see the horse part? Hey, where are you going? Come back, I'll clean you a place to sit down. Uh, hey kid, got a, got a smoke? Bullshit. Damn. Hey, you put the tail on tailgate. Asshole. Well, you brought the buns, I brought the meat. Us. Damn, she's a tough bitch. Best she puts her tampon in with a Nerf gun. Never mind, sugar. Looks like you got a little smoky anyway. Ah, shit. I didn't know the damn Squirrel Scouts are gonna be here. It's a little early in the day to be this drunk, ain't it, Louie? Ah, shit, you're right. I guess I need another beer. Another beer here! Hey, you want one, officer, uh, fucker? I don't think so. Uh, all right, I'll take yours. Two beers here! Come on, Louie. Let's go. Game's not over. Well, it is for you. All right, make them beers to go. G give me your keys. Oh, are you driving? Yeah, I'm driving. Hey. Hey. Hey, what is going on? You said your dad's missing. How do you know? He's back. Wait, does he mean? He does. Jason fucking Voorhees. Yeah, and you know, this is so typical of him. I mean, the minute we're here, suddenly he's got a new mission and has to, to run off and save the day. This is fucking incredible. <sighs> Just... What? I, I don't want Ash to hear. She doesn't know. She doesn't care. I mean, she, she didn't even want to come here to begin with, but she never sees him anymore since visitation was taken away, so it's... Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, well, he's fucking crazy. Your dad's not crazy, okay? There's no way he wouldn't be here unless there's something really going on. You hear about that shit that's happening at Forest Green? Yeah, yeah. I bet you that's where he went. Uh-huh. But Rilotti said it was a bear. Rilotti's full of shit, okay? A bear randomly hunts down and kills three people? You honestly believe that? Unlike you and my dad, yeah, I... <laughs> like the crazy ones, right? I know it's been 30 years, but why couldn't it be Jason? Just help me find him and get him back here before he hurts himself or worse. Yeah, 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 of course. I know some people who can help. Everything will be okay. We'll find him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Oh. 
Are you ready for the thrills and chills of the Epic Legends 57 Killer Tour? We've taken the liberty of having your gear already hauled to the campsite. So in just a few moments, we'll begin our tour. Yeah, let's, let's hope so. <laughs> I mean, we saw the other ghost tour was 10 bucks cheaper. You guys just had the higher rating. Don't disappoint. Oh, we won't. I guarantee it. Thomas lowered his uh, prices again, huh? He's got to do something to compete. We keep poaching his customers. Bastard. Yeah, he's leading a tour up here this weekend, too. Yeah, I heard. You don't think he's going to get in our way, do you? <laughs> nah, I'm not worried about a guy leading a ghost tour who's too afraid to go into the woods after dark. <laughs> now, this is uh, one of the most important spots on our Camp Crystal Lake Horror Tours. Uh, so, <laughs> prepare yourselves for skin-crawling chills. <laughs> if you're quiet enough, you can hear the screams of Jason Voorhees' tormented victims. <laughs> yeah, no, I think those are the screams of your tormented customers. <laughs> She's, <laughs> I like it, I like it, that's good. Where was I? Um, oh yeah, oh no! Oh, uh, what is that noise? <laughs> is that Jason Voorhees coming to kill us? Oh, God, I hope so. <laughs> I, I think it is. <laughs> God, you oh. friggin' idiot! Who does that? Seriously. Yeah, I just pissed myself. <laughs> See what you did? That's not even a good costume. <laughs> a little kickstart to your art, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is our other guy that'll be joining us for today, Alex Joyner. Hi, guys. I'm um, sorry for the scare. <laughs> All right, up next on our trail, we have, uh, oh yeah, this is the same part where Pamela Voorhees chased our next victim. <laughs> and where Jason Voorhees went on a uh, rampage and started to kill after he saw his mother decapitated. And he kept hearing her voice in his head. And she said, kill for me. Kill for me, Jason. And he went crazy. And he did, though. He did. He killed any and everyone. So what do you guys think? Meh, at least that costume's a little better. Yeah? Yeah? Fuck. Seriously, guys, I paid 600 fucking dollars on this. How is this gonna be any different from those ghost hunter shows on TV? This is gonna be fun. Mm, will it? I mean, they're always just psyching you up, but nothing ever really happens, you know? I think it's gonna be great. I'm totally excited. Oh, yeah? Oh, I didn't mean like that. Yeah, we'll see. What's about the bat? Oh. I ain't fucking around with no bears. <laughs> no, seriously, a bear rolls up on me, it's gonna fucking regret it. Man. All right, all right, are you ready for the spookiest, most terrifying tour of your lives? That's right, gang. There's no other ghost tour around that compares to this one. So be prepared to be terrified. <laughs> <laughs> so follow me. Let's get this tour on the road. Yeah, I got you now. I got you now. What? How, how'd you, how did you even do that? Oh, it's so not fair. Uh, hey, Rob. They're here. All right. <clears throat> hey, thank you for taking it easy on me, Ash, right? I will. Next time, you better practice. OK, I will. Okay, Rob. What's going on? Hey, guys. Uh, thank you so much for the quick response. Yeah, of course. So, what's the emergency? Um, well, Angelica here just found out her dad is missing. He may be in trouble. 
I think you all can help. Angie, this is Jeff Deere, Joey Higgins, and Heather Field. Wait, what? As in the people that my dad is- As in everyone here has had family affected by Jason Voorhees. Yes. Robert, you know how I feel about this. Just hear me out this one time, Angie, okay? Um, Jason killed his Aunt Sandra. And my Uncle Rob. He went hunting for Jason and didn't come home. Her mother was one of the few people to see Jason before he went on his killing spree. And her Aunt Jenny survived him face to face. She actually stopped him once. Okay, so how does Angelica fit in all this? Everyone, I'd like you to meet Angelica Jarvis. Wait, your dad is the Tommy Jarvis? Yeah. Jesus, man, he is like a living legend around here. Well, he's missing. He thinks Jason is back, and he's probably gone after him again. This is what we've been waiting for, right? An opportunity to clear our family name, expose the truth. You mean an opportunity to find Angelica's dad? We, yeah, but we all live with the same stigma, right? Every one of us. Exactly. We find Tommy, but if that son of a bitch is out there again, at least we come back with some proof. I I've interviewed everyone I could about the attacks. And Jeff, Joey, and Heather are the only three who've been waiting and preparing for this day. A day to fight back. And we all know that your dad would be the same for us. All right, we'll go on a search mission to find your dad, okay? If this really is Jason and we actually find him, what's the plan? Right. Guns. A whole fucking lot of them. to level seven. Ash, I need to go somewhere for a little bit. I'm gonna drive you over to Donna Elaine's house, okay? How come? My friends and I have something very important we need to do. Can't I come with you? No, nope. this is adult stuff. But I can help. No, sweetie, you have fun with Donna tonight. I'll be back tomorrow. What about our sister Summer? I thought you said family first. Now you're going to hang out with your friends? It's not like that. This is about dad, isn't it? I'll explain everything later, okay? Hey, Jim, did you hear about this one? What's worse than ants in your pants? I don't know, Chad, what? Uncles. <laughs> Uncles? That's what you come up with? Come on. Now I can see why your wife hates you. Nah, she don't hate me. She's just glad I'm out here with the rest of you guys. Yeah, is that what she's telling you? Nah. Hmm. How about this one? So this guy with this premature ejaculation problem just comes out of nowhere. Jesus, Chad. Seriously? Come on, I gotta stay back at the camp back there with uh, Dave and Bob. Shh. I think I just heard something. Jesus Christ. No. You lost? Are you boys lost? Camping? Yeah, right over there. Oh. Hey, this is Dad's. You can't, can't lose this. Ugh. Yes. Hey, look, have fun tonight, okay? Be a kid, play video games all night. I love you, you know that, right? Kelly, what do you think is wrong with it? I 
I don't know. We're gonna be late for the tour. Girl, it's your piece of shit car. You don't even have a car. Girl, try it again. in erecting a tent. Uh, sir, I, I think I'm pitching my tent right now. <laughs> More like a pup tent. Why don't you come on up here, David, and show your fellow campers how to pitch a tent? I think that's something we'd all like to see. Well, uh, first, you're gonna need a babe. Or a good website. And you know, I, I find that Sweatpants do the best work in these situations. All right, all right, all right. I think there's some confusion about what kind of tent we're going to erect here. Oh. Luckily, we have Dean here, who is a master at erecting a tent. Darn right I am, Frank. Now the key to pitching a tent, make sure you got your rigging down. Now it might seem a little limp at first, but don't worry about that. The more you work it, the stiffer it gets. Here, go ahead and take the tip, Frank. Here, thank you. Take the tip. Merely you now, hold the middle. As you see, I continue working it, and look how long that's getting. So long, so firm. This is how you want to pitch a tent. Do you want to come inside? Not really. But you just said. That's what Angelica wants me to do. What I'm going to do is follow her. Got an extra bike? Hey, Mom, I'm going to spend the night at Ashley's tonight. You're gonna have to do all the talking, right, Angie? Yeah. If she knows where my dad is, she has to tell us, right? She might not want to. Hey. You got this. Hello, Dr. Cruz, do you have a couple of minutes? This is about your father, isn't it? Yeah. Where is your father, anyway? That's what I was hoping you would tell me. I recognize you three. I think you know my aunt, Ginny. Oh, that's it. And you're Jeff Dyer and Joey Higgins, correct? So what is this all about? My dad's missing. He thinks Jason is back, and he's probably gone after him again. Oh, God. You know more than anyone about all of this. And so, well, we hoped you would know how we could find him. And help him kill Jason. Yes. You honestly don't believe all these stories, do you? God, no, no, I don't, but right. my dad does. All right, how do we kill Jason? You've been studying all of this for ages. And that probably means you know how to kill him once and for all, right? Please, right? both of you, stop it. Your father will come back like he always does, and I'll be happy to continue to counsel him. He desperately needs it, and I know you know that. All of you, just go home. This is a huge waste of our time. We just should go to Crystal Lake. Crystal Lake is a very dangerous place, incredibly so. If there is something going on there, you need to let the police handle it. Do you really think Sheriff Rilotti could do anything to help? I am so sorry we bothered you, Dr. Cruz. We will be going now. Yeah, I sure hope you know what's Thank you for your time. Yeah. Hi, uh, Dr. Cruz. Um, I would absolutely love to interview you sometime. And you are? Robert Thompson, author, truth seeker. The same Robert Thompson that's been emailing me for the past year? Yes, ma'am. Thanks for stopping by. Four weeks of this litter bullshit. I'm sick and fucking tired of this orange jumpsuit, man. Watch that mouth, inmate. Yes, sir. Boom, sir. So what's the first thing you're going to eat when you get up out of here? 
my wife's cooch. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. I thought you said your wife had more crabs than a seafood platter. No, no, man. She she took care of that. She got it taken care of. I told you that. Reggie, Dwight, less talking, more working. Can slate. Can fucking slate. You hear me talking to you, inmate? What? Giving me lip? Fuck you want, boss. I want you to pick up the damn pace. Why don't you pick up this? I know, I know. A little bit too much work for you, right? <sighs> Lazy fuck. Yo, Ken, man, you trying to get landed in solitary? Man, it's better than sticking our necks out around here. What do you mean? Ain't you heard about this place? <laughs> Fucking Jason Voorhees runs around these woods. Stay out here long enough, you are likely gonna end up cutting half by the fucking psychopath. Yo, yo, Reggie, Reggie, you, mm -hmm. you heard of this Jason Voorhees motherfucker? Oh yeah, I heard of him. He killed a bunch of people up at Crystal Lake back in the day. No, no, it was uh, Forest, Forest Green, man, Forest Green. Yeah, yeah. No shit. Cause I heard it happen at Crystal Lake. It's the same place, you fucking idiots. Well, would you believe this shit? They never caught him. Mm -hmm. And he, he might still be out there somewhere. Would you two shut the fuck up? Hey, what the fuck is going on over there, inmates? Christ. Hello. Is this Sheriff Rilotti? The one and only, who's this? Tammy Cruz. You gotta be on the lookout. There's a bunch of kids headed up to Crystal oh, Lake. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, I remember you. Hey, listening. I don't need to be sent on any wild goose chases, and I certainly don't need to be babysitting a bunch of kids. Now, I, I'm sorry, but if this isn't a real emergency, my hands are really tied. I can't do anything. Please, Sheriff, you, you can't spare one deputy. Oh. All right, you know what? I'll see what I can do, okay? Thank you, Sheriff. Oh. Tucker, you on the air? Yes, Tucker, you're good. I got a couple of kids up on Cunningham Road that are nosing around up there that don't belong there. See what you can do, and if you see them, send them packing, all right? And boy, sir, my day never runs. Jesus Christ almighty. Just a bird or something. No, but, 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 but what if it was him? I mean, should we go? Should no, we go? Angelica, we can't run in these woods like that. Jason could already be here. Angelica, wait! <sighs> that was an animal or something, right? Sh I don't know. C come on, come on! Shit! Look at that! Someone's throwing away a perfectly good Jeep. Fucking one percent is all wasteful, throwing shit away. Whew, shit color. Don't mind if I do. Fucking cup holders. Hell yeah. Wait, hold up. What? That's my car. 
Looks like I'm driving after all, officer fucker. That's my fucking car. It's fine. I'm sure he has insurance. You have insurance, right? Oh. Our guns are in that truck, you uh, fucking asshole. Shit. Just, uh, what are we going to do now? Go back and call the cops? I mean, we can't just go out there unarmed. Oh, God, what about my dad? All right. You guys can go back if you want. All right? I'll stay here with Angelica. Fuck. Wait a second. Wait, come here. What about these? I know it's not much, but it's better than nothing, right? Look, hold on. Hey, take this. Come on. Here, come on. Okay. You sure about this? Uh, I don't know. Yeah? Yeah. All right, well, we stick together, we'll be fine. Which way do we go? <laughs> I think the quickest way to the camp is this way. Who put your fucking tree? In the middle of the goddamn road. Four by four in my ass. What the hell are you doing, dipshit? What? You think this is Halloween or something? Hey! Fucking talking to you, Mickey Myers. What, are you fucking deaf or something? Get the fuck out of my way. Jesus Christ. You smell like a goat queef on a pair of hillbilly balls. Boy, you think you're fucking tough or something? Say, get the fuck out of my way. All right. You calling this another bear attack? No. This is obviously an escape attempt that went bad. Copy that. Realotti wants his best cleaned up ASAP. We're on it. Go ahead and start getting this taped off. You got it. Worker, what's your 20? Hey, Chuck, I'm at the station. Rilani wants you to get back here. Yeah, I'm on my way. First, I gotta get back out here and find those kids before you have an even bigger mess to clean up. What is all that? Um, it is all of Dr. Cruz's research on the Camp Crystal Lake murders. I borrowed it from her office. You stole it. This is gonna be incredible for my book. You know what, man? Try not to be too happy about all this. No, 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 you know what? I'm not happy, okay? I just personally think the world needs to know because there are a lot of goddamn unanswered questions and the good doctor was holding back quite a lot. Like right here, right here. This details sightings of Jason in New York. <laughs> no, no way. That can't possibly be real. No, it's total bullshit. But that's just the thing. There's all these stories and reports, and someone needs to go through it all and find out what's real and what isn't. And that's you, right? Yeah, maybe Jeff, but maybe not. But regardless, it needs to happen. Boys, can we not? I think it's best we keep moving. Yeah. 
Come on. This isn't good. Maybe we should ditch the bikes and cut through the woods. It's okay. It was a Girl Scout. Okay. You know, my dad used to bring me deer hunting up here when I was a kid. We were fishing up at the lake, too. But he always told me never to wander too close to the old camp. Did you ever? Well, when I asked him why we weren't supposed to go there, he told me it was because of some kind of death curse. What was it like? You'll see for yourself, soon enough. Well, we've got a big day tomorrow, folks. <sighs> I suggest you youngsters get yourself some sleep. Okay, suit yourselves. But the morning comes awful early when you're out camping. Don't say I didn't warn you. Seen the morning, Frank. That is, if I survive the night. <laughs> night, night. So who's got a scary story for us? No one? That's okay, I've got one. Great, I, I bet this is gonna be good. Oh, it's gonna be good. So, here it goes. What are you doing? If we keep going, we can catch up to them. Not if we keep going in circles. What? We aren't. We passed by this log twice. We're lost, admit it. Fine. I'll call Angie. Hmm. What? No reception. Dean? Better not be playing another one of your practical jokes. I shit you not. That isn't funny, asshole. You better get it through your head. We're not having a repeat of what happened at Springwood last year. You hear me? on those two. It's one of those goddamn haunted tours. People are just... Do you think they know Jason like, might be out here? Honestly, they probably wouldn't even care. That's the whole point of these stupid tours, just to scare the shit out of people with the legend of Jason. Crazy guy. So either they'll think we're messing with them or crazy. Maybe they've seen my dad. So I know I'm giving away like a You know what? I okay. think maybe I might possibly have an idea. Stuff happens. Like really yeah. crazy stuff. all sorts of crazy things, and all of a sudden, this gloved hand just comes out of the bubbles. The fuck? Wait, it, it gets better. It gets better. <clears throat> shit! Hey. Holy shit! Who the hell are you guys? Uh, sorry to intrude, um, but we're camping somewhere around here, and, well, we went for a hike earlier today and got lost. Got caught out after dark, huh? <laughs> All the time. You haven't seen anyone else out here, have you? An older guy, denim jacket? Can't say I have. So, uh, y'all always carry those with you when you go hiking? Just being prepared. There's bears out here. <laughs> I told you, bro. Whatever, man. Well, why don't you go ahead and join us? And in the morning, I'll help you guys find your camp. Dean really is great at land navigation. I'm sure he'll be able to help you get back in no time. 
Um, that would be great. Thank you. My pleasure. Now, have a seat and join us for s'mores. There are plenty to go around. Thank you. You sure about this? Um, I'm just trying to put myself in Tommy's shoes, and this is what he would do. Right, Angie? He would. Hey, this party's getting kind of crowded, you know? What do you say, you and I, go for a walk down by the lake? Sure. Yeah? All right, let's go. All right. I'm gonna take a piss. Be right back. Don't get lost again. Because, you know, you were lost earlier. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, the fuck! Oh, God, what's going on? Oh, God, what's going on? Oh, no! Ah! Too late! Son of a bitch, where the hell were you, God damn it! The cook's kid, Jason Voorhees! Hey, Verlotti, you mind keeping your nuts off of me? That's not what you told me last night. You're terrible. I'm terrible. And what would your husband think about a little summer romance, huh? Our arrangement works well for both of us. I don't ask him what happens on his business trips, and he doesn't ask me what happens here. Hey, Abigail. How about a quickie? OK, but not here. Real Lottie, Jarvis, what the hell are you two doing? What the fuck? A fucking kid just drowned. What are you doing? What, what are you talking about? The cook's kid, Jason Voorhees. Couple of kids saw him go out the lake. He went down. He never came back up. Where the fuck were you two idiots? Oh Jesus God. Christ, I swear there was nobody out there. You were supposed to be watching him, you stupid son of a bitch. Where the hell were you, God damn it? We are so fucked. I think it probably belongs to those kids. Want to call this one in? No. Not yet. Let's take a quick walk around the area and see if we can find something. Yeah, well, I got your six. Yeah. <laughs> Always. Follow the money teams. Got better. What are you finding in there? Uh, a lot. They never found Jason's body in the lake. They searched for about a week, and then his dad, Elias Voorhees, called off the search. He said it didn't matter anymore. 
You know, whatever happened to his dad? Uh, passed away. Alone and grieving from the sound of it. Sounds like he really loved his kid. Hello? What do you mean you can't find him? No. No! No! Maybe they were just a messed up family. Or maybe all the legend and folklore just made things harder on them all. It's so strange thinking of Jason having a family. You know his mom was the original crystal killer, right? Jordan is deep and wide, hallelujah, milk and honey on the other side, hallelujah. Does Mary kiss as good as I do? How would I know? You. I said you were special. I meant everything. doing anything we were just messing around I think I've had as much excitement as I can handle for one night. I'm gonna call it two. Nice to meet you guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hello? Oh shit! Hey, princess. 
Hi. Sorry I scared you. It's okay. What happened? I thought you left. Well, I was gonna leave after I set up camp, but I didn't want to leave you here alone with the wolves. Who, Frank and Dean? They're harmless. I'm not. No. I couldn't get my mind off of you all day. I'm so happy that you came back. I don't think I can keep my hands off of you either. Mm, I hope not. Mm. Haven't you heard the stories? Yeah, but they're just stories. Not all of them. Well, Dean over here is the expert. Hardly. Whatever. This conversation is boring the shit out of me. Uh, which way is it to the lake? Anywho, I think I should probably hit the sack. Uh, you're welcome to help yourselves to any of the food. Thank you for everything, Dean. Really. Oh, you're welcome. I'm just sorry I couldn't make the sleeping situation a little better. We packed a little bit light. No, no, we understand. We will be just fine out here by the fire. Okie dokie. Good night, then. Good night. Mm. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Uh, we should probably just wait till morning. I mean, it's safer with us as a group, right? Safety in numbers? Yeah, but that was before. The situation has obviously changed. I mean, why the hell aren't Jeff or those other two back yet? I, I want to stay by the fire. I'm sorry, I can't just go gallivancing through the dark. I'll, I'll wait for Jeff. Are you sure, Heather? Yeah. If anything happens, I'll just yell for the guy with the bat. Jesus fucking Christ. Just fucking bone and get it over with. What was that? It's probably just those guys messing with us. Aha, guys! That's fucking funny! Fuck. There's someone over there. Stay here, okay? Right? <laughs> now he's being shy. Sorry, baby. That cold water shrank my pod. David? You want to cock block me, you mother? Oh shit! Oh shit! Shit. What? It's uh, Rilati and. Holy shit. This can't be true. What? What the hell did you find? Angie. Your great grandma and Rilati, they started this. They started all of this. What are you talking about? Look, they were the counselors on duty when Jason Voorhees drowned. It's their fault. They've been covering this up for years.
How, um, how could she let all of this happen and never say anything? How does fucking Rilati sleep at night? Covering this shit up all this time? <sighs> okay. Fuck. Let's go. I don't see no lake around here. Maybe I should go back. Yeah, I should go back. What? <laughs> Yo! Ho, ho. You a bear? Nah. <laughs> like a bear to me. What kind of name is Flora, anyway? It sounds like an old maid. What kind of name is Abigail? Oh, it's just like a southern bell from hell. Yeah, you're taking care of Archie. <clears throat> yes, he loves you. I don't know why. Because I'm nice. <laughs> Yes. Archie, you silly cat. You only come home for mealtime, do ya? Abigail! Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh! You. You let my boy die. Fuck you, Voorhees. You're evil. What am I saying that you don't understand? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Damn it. Are you kidding me? Kids? That gave me a fucking heart attack. <clears throat> Language? Hey, what are you, uh, what are you girls doing out here by yourself? It's okay, you can talk to us. You're not gonna get in any trouble. What about my sister? What about your sister, hun? I don't wanna get her in trouble. Your sister out here somewhere? Is she with friends? Yeah, I knew it. The damn kids are out here somewhere up to no good. They think my dad is out here somewhere, so they went looking for him. So we came up with a plan to follow them, but we got lost. She got lost. Who's your dad, kid? Tommy Jarvis. All right. You take him back to the rig, and I'll, uh, I'm just gonna keep searching for these guys out here. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, just keep your radio on, all right? Come on, girls, let's go. You let my boy drown. I knew this day would come, you fucking son of a bitch. Jason, don't! Jason, mother is talking to you. It's my good boy. Hey. I think... 
Hey, okay, guys, I'm just gonna go and check out this path ahead. Make sure it's safe for us to go down, all right? You girls should stay here. What is it? Um, I'm, I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure it's gonna be okay, but you girls should stay here, all right? I'll be right back. Hey, brave like your dad, right? Hey. Brooke, you copy? God damn it, Brooke, you better not be fucking with me right now. Brooke, if you can hear me, you can't talk, just keep your mic. Oh, I'm here. I never thought I'd come, but here it is. Maybe we should have waited back at the campsite for Jeff. I really don't like the looks of this place. All right. Let's see if this works. Oh, whoa. This is it. This is where it all happened. Uh, yeah, I... I think I'm just gonna stay out here and keep watch. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, keep your eyes and ears open. And if you need anything, holler or scream. Uh, I'm just saying, given the current situation, it's a valid suggestion. Yeah, I'll be fine. Go ahead. Yeah. really don't feel like falling through the floor in here. Uh, just walk lightly. It should be okay. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Heather? Jeff, is that you? Oh my god. What is it? This is Dad's. He was here. Are you sure that looks like it's years old? No, no. I... I fell, and I smashed this on a rock. I put that dent in there when I was eight. You might be right, Angie. I what? think someone tried to escape through that window. What? It, um, it was him. It, it, he's, um, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. No, 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 no. no, no. You know, he's dead. No, he's dead. He's not. He's not dead. He's not dead. Breathe. He's still here. He's still out there. He's still out there. He's still out there. Deputy Tucker, if anybody's in range and can hear this, I'm at Crystal Lake and need emergency backup. Oh my god. Joey? Okay, 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 let me just fuck, 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 fuck. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, All
It's okay. It's okay. It's good. You're okay. It's okay. You're okay. We're gonna get you out of here. Is he with you? Who is he? Okay. This is Deputy Tucker. I've got uh, I've got two buddies. I've got one body. Where'd he go? All right, let's get you out of here. Let's get you out of here. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Hey, Tucker, give me a second. Those two individuals you were asking me about earlier, I don't have anything on them. Now, it's Tom Jarvis. He is not on the list. However, Elias Voorhees, there are three death certificates for him from three different counties. What do you make of that? There's still that shit in the ring. Yeah, this, this is nuts. Yeah. Yeah, if you'd seen what I'd seen. Hey, kiddo. Where's your sister? Hey. Did you find him? We got, we got good news. Well, the good news is Tommy Jarvis is not on our list of deceased. OK. Yeah, that, mean, that means he's still out there. I mean, he, he's alive, right? I did not say that. All we know right now is he is not on our list of deceased. OK. Dad? It's Dad. It's really him. Where are you? What? I can't hear you. Ashley, let me see your phone. Give me the phone. Tommy. Tommy, can you hear me? Tommy. What do you say? I couldn't hear him. We gotta get back out there. All right, let's go. What did he say? Where is he? I, I don't know. I couldn't understand him. Okay. It's okay. Find your dad.
Long ago. 